seen you on film, on video It's got to cause and ain't got too far to go We shoot it in the upstairs studio A brand new theme new on film, on video Movie show. Is anybody out there? I don't know. Is anybody out there? I don't know. Hi, guys. Welcome to. On film, on video. Uh, that's the new theme, maybe. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> the, the, we are going to do some changes this year. It is 2013. 2013. Um, it is the future, and uh, we're making some changes. And one of the changes we're making is we're reverting back to an old style sort of thing, and that we're going to write on film on the on film column and we're going to use this space to kind of tell you what's opening in theaters this week and what's going on in theaters this week uh the big thing that's going on in theaters this week we don't cover because it's another one of those january horror movies that have come out every year that they do really i don't know it's sort of like they don't want anybody to know anything about them until people get in there into the theaters and it's too late to you know, <laughs> they got your money then. Um, but I think it actually looks pretty good. It's called Megan. It's this weird movie that uh, I think I have a clip of it or something. Let's see. I'm Megan. <laughs> I get accused of being the master of killer doll movies. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, Katie. Do you want to hang out? I designed Megan to protect Katie from feeling lonely. You're going to pair with her. It's insane, right? She's designed to be the ideal companion. Megan, your goal is to protect Katie from harm. Is the input request received? 100%. As her AI evolves, she becomes very protective of Katie. I won't let anything harm you. And it's pretty terrifying. Megan, what are you doing? Couldn't sleep. Occupational hazard. <laughs> I think people need to be reminded of the fact that this technology is here. We're not that far from something like Megan existing, and that is pretty unsettling. Are you listening to me, Brandon? It's really creepy, but playful at the same time, you know, just before she's about to kind of cut someone in half. <laughs> Recalibrating response model. Baby, just kill. Don't provoke us or we will. This movie is really fun. Did you make him do something bad? <laughs> but it's still a horror film. It's terrifying. You're gonna walk out of the theater and feel like... That was creepy as <laughs> You should probably run. Don't worry, Katie. I won't let anything harm you. Ever again. Yeah, you know, they have this thing called the Uncanny Valley where um, if you get too close to looking like a human being's face or something like that, it's, it's sort of repulsive. Whereas if you, you know, very stylized faces and stuff, we can accept and even empathize with, look at something like Wally or something like this. One of the things that's interesting about um, this film is there, I believe there's an actual little girl inside the Megan costume with the, the, the weird, you know, kind of uh, plastic doll face on, and it's just, it just makes me, it just creeps me out. Um, 
What else we got opening this week? Well, we have, uh, and I'm really irritated. I'll tell you why I'm irritated. It's because uh, Nicolas Cage did a movie called The Old Way, which is a revenge thriller set in the Old West. Western could be very interesting because, you know, Nicolas Cage is an infinitely um, watchable actor who takes on all kinds of roles and lots of chances, and sometimes he's really good, and sometimes he's really good in movies that aren't very good, but I wanted to see it. The problem we have with that is that uh, they sent us a press kit, and the press kit we can't get into because of some weird Dropbox thing that doesn't recognize that I've been signed in the Dropbox, Dropbox for the past 15 years or whatever. And uh, you can't download the videos, and I'm not paying $11.99 to YouTube to be able to download videos from them. So, sorry, we're not going to show you a clip of the old way. I'm sorry about it, but that's the, the truth. We are going to show you a clip of Corsage, which is an interesting film. Or at least I think it's a very interesting film, because it's uh, in Persissi, which we did. Um, there's a, um, a Netflix uh, series called The Empress, and I think it's an Austrian uh, series, and it only went for six episodes, and I think it's coming back, but it's about this historic figure, um, and I, here, take a look. Dann in dem richtigen Moment so. So und dann. Da war kein Junge, da hat mich gehabt. So bald. Ich bin mir gehabt, jeder. Meine Aufgabe ist es, die Geschicke dieses Reiches zu lenken. Deine Aufgabe ist es, lediglich zu repräsentieren. Dafür habe ich dich ausgewählt, dafür bist du da. Wenn du jedem Impuls, jeder Laune nachgibst, ohne an deine Rolle zu denken. A lion doesn't lose sleep over the opinion of sheep. I love to look at you looking at me. Sie ist ein Buch für mich. Jeder Seite steht ein Rätsel. Dein Vater denkt, man wird von Gott dahin gesetzt. Du erst für richtig halt. Lass dich vom Papa nicht kriegen. In ihr ist alles wie in einem unaufgeräumten Museum. A lion doesn't lose sleep over the opinion of sheep. Finally, and this this cannot be good. It's coming out next month, uh, February 3rd. I just wanted to give you, you've probably seen it. I mean, you watch TV. I don't watch TV because it's an occupational hazard. I'm not watching much uh, network TV. I don't get to see a whole lot of commercials. I, I have a hard time believing this is a real film, but it's a real film based on a true story. Uh, it's called 80 for Brady. It's produced, executive produced, I suppose, but no, it's producer, just producer credit. It goes to Tom Brady, and it stars Lily Tomlin, Jane Fonda, Rita Moreno, and Sally Field, and Brady, and it's about uh, four sweet old ladies who go to watch their hero, Tom Brady, play in Super Bowl 51 in 2017. Yeah, that's what the movie's about. It's a comedy, I guess. Anyway, uh, this is Paris.
Uh, Paris was barking, so she came up here. Um, I don't know what she wants. We'll see you next week. I hope you like the new kind of abbreviated format of this thing. But uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye. Roll camera. Three, two, one. Hey. 80 for Brady. It's about four friends who win tickets to the Super Bowl where all kinds of adventures happen. Oh, oh. There's Tom. Oh, oh, what a beautiful man. So well hydrated. <laughs> I think there are opportunities for me to tell stories that are near and dear to my heart. And to be able to produce it with amazing actresses was very exciting for me. What made me want to be involved is Jane, Lily, Sally, and of course, Tom Brady. The people in this movie are totally out there. We're going to the Super Bowl to enjoy men the way the Romans did. Sweaty, tight pants. I'm a sports fan, and I think people underestimate the huge audience that older women are. Who's is this? It's all sweaty, but it's lovely. <laughs> it's like bridesmaids meets Golden Girls. Let's go! Tom Brady is a miracle. He's just an absolute unicorn. <laughs> Don't bump your head on the mic. To work with them, it's really a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. They are really the goats in what they do. But you're so big. Thank you. I know people are going to love it.